This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello my friends, I am Mr. 23 and because I am a necromancer fan in games and also in admiring other designers artworks, I decided to give it a try and create my own necromancer. So let's do this. But before we run it, let's load up Envato Elements. With more than 55 million assets, Envato Elements is the perfect resource in your design journey. I'm not using Envato just for high quality stock photos only, but I use it for cool intros for my videos. I use their awesome fonts when I create my titles, the music that you can hear in the background of my videos and the feature that I love the most is the 3D section where you can find almost anything that you can think of and once you decide it on an asset you can rotate it and you can download many angles of that element and you can save them as a PNG or PSD file with a transparent background of course. For my today's video I found everything that I needed here on Envato, this image of my future necromancer and I could have chosen other poses and stances for the same warrior but I went with this one and I have also found this high quality photo of the skulls and the rest of the smoke and flares and everything that I have used in today's artwork. You can download all the assets that you want with just one subscription. Envato Elements offers 50% off to an annual subscription so rather than paying $33 per month on a monthly plan you'll be paying only $16.50 per month on an annual plan. If you want to give it a try, I'll drop a link in the description below the video. I started with uh, this gradient uh, background, then I added uh, brightness and contrast, and then I added this picture and I have uh, set it to multiply. Then with the hue and saturation, I have modified uh, the hue and decreased the lightness. Then I added this uh, photo and I uh, added the mask and with the mask I made visible the top part. Then I have added uh, this photo of uh, some smoke and I have set the blending mode to screen. Then another brightness and contrast where I have decreased the brightness and increased the contrast then another smoke this time the same set to screen and this uh, really awesome uh, brush the arcane brushes that I told you about uh, in a previous tutorial and uh, for those that uh, you haven't seen that tutorial you should see it so uh, I have uh, those uh, arcane circles from uh, Deviant Art uh, website but actually we have uh, the link in a brush here from this set which is uh, brushes uh, that uh, obsidiandown.com and uh, whoever did those brushes uh, really put up a lot of work so uh, congrats and thanks a lot for those brushes they are awesome I use them a lot in my uh, work I have used this brush pack and uh, created this uh, shape and I have set the blending mode to screen and I have decreased the opacity to almost 80% then here down below I have painted uh, with a greenish color if you don't know how to do this let's quickly look Learn, create a new layer then right click take the brush tool and the soft light brush and let's choose uh, color let's decrease the flow to around uh, 10% and if we paint here down below this will happen and if we double click on the image and uh, hold alt and drag the right slider more to the right you'll see that this green color will, will disperse really nice into the background then with an overlay I wanted to bring uh, more color into this part I have painted with a normal layer set to overlay and I have painted with some green color the same then here in the center with a layer set to color dodge I have painted here on this arcane circle in the center and here down below and let me show you how to do this really quick create a new layer set it to color dodge then take a dark green something like that now if we paint you see I'm painting here and uh, here in the center it will uh, make a, a really interesting uh, glow then I have added a hue and saturation and I have made the top part uh, a bit uh, orange so normally I have made everything like that with uh, this view and saturation and uh, I have checked the colorize and then with the mask I kept only the top part then I had this uh, really really amazing picture from Envato with this warrior and uh, I have uh, added a mask and masked him uh, out of his background and uh, if you look at the original picture you will see that we have uh, other lightning conditions so he is really bright here on the left part and the top left part actually and uh, here when we uh, use uh, this warrior inside our uh, design it doesn't really look uh, that well so we need to make those uh, really bright areas 
darker and uh, I uh, had a tutorial a few months ago uh, with the tips and tricks where I showed you how we can recover some uh, parts from the shadows or from the highlight so let me quickly show you how to do this in our case we are going to duplicate the layer so press ctrl j on the layer so let's hide the previous one and keep only this one then go to image and here on the adjustments select shadows and highlight so we need to decrease everything so now we need to increase the amount of highlights to around 50 percent and then the tone should be around same. and now if you look at the image we have a lot of details from those highlights and without ruining the picture I have uh, recovered those areas from the highlights using these shadows and the uh, highlight and then I uh, didn't really like uh, I mean he has <laughs> he has a really nice uh, abdomen but uh, for our purpose I wanted to show more of that uh, abs so I have uh, used another picture of uh, this guy for example and I have masked the abs and with the selective color I have changed the neutrals all right and then with the levels I have made everything darker and with the soft light uh, I have made the shadows even darker let's quickly learn again this uh, dodge and burn that I'm calling dodge and burn this method works exactly like dodge and burn uh, only that I'm not using uh, the dodge and burn from here I'm using the black and the white color black is for burn and white is for dodge so let's uh, create a new layer and we are going to set it to soft light and fill it with 50% gray and now if we uh, take the brush tool and uh, we are going to paint to the black color on those areas that are already dark it will make those areas even darker then I made uh, a group and I have placed the warrior inside the group with everything that we have done so far and to this uh, group I have applied some things first of all I have increased the contrast a lot by 100% because uh, this picture didn't have that much contrast then I got uh, rid of those white areas using the clone stamp tool so let's quickly learn create a new layer and then take this clone stamp tool and let's zoom in so now if you hold alt and uh, grab an area next to that white area let's for, for example I'm clicking here and then I'm releasing now if we paint you'll see that it will clone that the part that we sampled when we press the alt key so I'm pressing here the alt key and then I'm uh, using the brush to clone that part then I have uh, made him uh, even darker by adding uh, brightness and contrast then with uh, levels I have made his eyes a bit uh, brighter and then with uh, another brightness and contrast I have made him uh, brighter on the top area more then I have added some small uh, rim lights using this method with the linear dodge so you are going to create a new layer and you are going to set it to linear dodge and fill it with black then double click on it hold alt and drag the right slider to the right to around 100 then click ok and we are going to take the brush tool and hold alt sample this color from the background and then if you paint slowly on the sides and everywhere that uh, you think it needs uh, those uh, lights it will make uh, those parts uh, really interesting and this is the way you are adding those uh, highlights and then on top I have added another brightness and contrast and I have uh, increased the brightness and then I have uh, added uh, the green highlights using the same uh, method that I just uh, showed you with the linear dodge and then I have added uh, those green highlights but uh, I have added them after I added the magic that you'll see at the end I needed some green highlights also for the magic and then I have added by using the same linear dodge I have added this uh, green uh, glow and then with the same method I have added uh, the white uh, rim lights and at the end some more white uh, rim lights on top of everything and this time I have double click on the layer and I hold alt and drag this slider to the right and those two that I use here the levels and exposure uh, are actually the shadow for this cut I have this uh, photo from uh, Envado and I have uh, selected uh, this uh, skull from it and I have placed uh, that skull into his hand and with a mask 
I have masked uh, the fingers and now it looks like the skull is in his hand. And uh, those uh, two layers that I told you about a few seconds ago, they are for the skull uh, shadow uh, levels and uh, an exposure. Then I have added uh, an exposure again and uh, I have made uh, the shadows for the fingers. Then I have decreased uh, the exposure a lot and then I have added a uh, brightness and contrast and I have decreased both of them. And with the dodge and burn, with the soft light I have added more shadows and then with the levels even more and with selective color I have changed the neutrals to change a bit the tones of the skull to adapt them to my uh, artwork then with the layer set to linear dodge and also I have double click on the layer and I have applied this blendive and then I have painted with some green color and then I have uh, added uh, this uh, small highlight and with uh, the white color more uh, rim lights actually and then um, more with uh, another layer set to linear dodge. Then I have changed a bit uh, the saturation, I have decreased the saturation a bit and uh, I have darkened the eyes and a bit the uh, mouth. And then with another brightness and contrast I have decreased the brightness. Then I have added everything into one group and I have added more highlights a bit to that area of uh, the skull and uh, here on the chest I have uh, decreased the saturation and I have added the uh, brightness and contrast and decreased the brightness because here on the chest I had too much uh, light and then on the bottom part I have added some glows uh, this one it's a layer set to screen so it's a smoke layer I duplicate it and I have moved it on top so it's the same then I have painted uh, with a layer set to overlay with a green color to have more colors over there that's really easy create a new layer set it to overlay and uh, then change uh, the brush to a green color and now if you paint on uh, the sides you'll see that you'll uh, have more colors over there the overlay it's really really good to brighten up and uh, saturate uh, those parts of your uh, design and then with the layer set to color and uh, the blend if applied so around 126 I have painted with more green so uh, create a new layer double click on the layer then hold alt and drag the right slider to around 125 hit ok set the layer to color take again the green color and now if we paint you see that we have uh, that uh, greenish uh, tones to our design and then on the face I have manually painted uh, some scars because I wanted to have our necromancer look like he's uh, been to some fights and then at the end I have decreased a bit uh, the black values of uh, those scars because they were different than uh, my black levels I will make a new tutorial uh, one day to show you how to create those scars it's not uh, that hard and after I have finished uh, with uh, all those things I have uh, pressed Ctrl Alt Shift and I. What this does is creating a screenshot from all the layers that you have so far. Right click and convert to a smart object. Then we will apply some filters. First it's uh, the camera row filter so go to filter and choose camera row filter. Here on the camera row filter I have modified the basics, the detail, I have added sharpening, noise reduction and color noise reduction. On the color mixer I have played a bit with the oranges and on the color grading I have moved the sliders around and on the effects I have added some grain and then hit OK and I have added another filter which is tilt shift blur you go you can go to filter then blur gallery and then choose tilt shift and here I have uh, set uh, uh, 5 pixels blur and I have blurred the bottom area then uh, if you want or not it's just up to you you can add the uh, brightness and contrast and decrease the contrast increase the brightness if you prefer the design more bright and then I have added some lights some flares and then uh, let's go to the magic part uh, I have a lot of tutorials on my channel on how to create magic one of them is uh, this one with the little girl but the technique is the same then I have uh, added some dust and I have changed his eyes to some evil eyes I have manually uh, draw uh, those eyes and then I have added some uh, particles on that uh, magic 
paint them green and uh, also I have uh, drew with some white color some uh, other lines over there and I have added a brightness and contrast and made his uh, face even darker. Before jumping into my Mr. 20T review where I'll show you the featured artist of this week I hope that you enjoyed my Necromancer video from today. Because my contest for this month uh, it's already in progress, so you'll see if you search for my Mr. 23 review uh, hashtag, you'll see also those entries for my contest and also the entries from my previous contest. So my today's pick for my Mr. 23 review is is CFX graphics uh, with this uh, incredible artwork, I really love the atmosphere here and he is my pick for this uh, video featured artist. If you like his work, please don't forget to follow his uh, Instagram account. So if you want to have your work featured in my videos, please don't forget to use my Mr. 23 review whenever you post your artwork on Instagram. Thanks a lot and see you next week.